When you create a dimensional constraint, AutoCAD is automatically going to create a variable for each dimensional constraint. And it does that for you automatically. Now when I want to go change the value of a dimensional constraint, I can change each one individually by clicking on the particular dimensional constraint. But I can also access all of those variables using the Parameters Manager. If I click on the Parameters Manager button here in the palette, it opens up my Parameters Manager palette. And this works just like any other AutoCAD palette. I can float it anywhere on the screen. I can dock it to the edge. What it is is it's a special palette that lets me see all of the associative variables associated with those dimensional constraints I created in my drawing. And now that I can see them, it's much easier. Notice that I've got it arranged in a grid. I've got three columns uh, that display by default. Now I can actually add two additional columns to display the description and the type uh, of each of those variables. But the name column displays the variable name, either the one that AutoCAD created automatically or the ones that I created. And then I can also see the value. Initially, each of these values is just the value that was assigned in there, but I can easily come in now and create an expression. For example, if I want the radius of this arc to be one and a half times the radius of this circle, I can click in here and create an equation and set up the actual relationship between these variables. I can add a description if I want. If I then come in and change the value of the radius of this circle, notice that it is then going to trickle through and update all of the other formulas that are based on that value. And if we look over here in the drawing, you'll see that the objects updated automatically. I can also create my own user constraints, so rather than defining the radius of the circle as just the radius, I can now say, you know, there's a rod that's going to go through that circle. So let's just go ahead and call this rod. I'll create a new user variable. We'll call it rod. And then I'll click up here and I'll say, you know, this is no longer the radius of the circle. This is equal to rod, which is defined down here in my user parameters. So it's very easy for me to come in to my parameters manager. It looks like a spreadsheet. It acts like a spreadsheet. I can go in and create these relationships and then manipulate the drawing from the parameters manager by coming in and entering new values for those various dimensional constraints and then it'll control everything in my drawing.